Hello, Lethal here. Right now, I'm going to play some Rocket League. If you haven't seen my last video, my little Rocket League special, Rocket League special number one, I beat the shit out of somebody 15 to 0. They were playing the entire match, I'd like to add. They were not AFK, and I beat them 15 to 0 without fucking up once. It was an amazing, amazing day for me. God, it was good. I hope my video is better now that I've fixed all the... God damn it, he, he whipped my ass. I have made a mistake and I fucked up. And he beat me because of it. I hope my videos are better now that my commentary's fixed and that it's not total shit, like, it's not totally drowned out by all, all the things. Yeah. So I just, I'm coming off of a fresh win, but I just had to leave so I could record this third episode. I had to leave a game, so that fresh win was basically negated. You know, that makes me sad. I mean, I was rendering that RL special, my RLS, Rocket League specials. Oh my god, what is my ping? My ping's not bad. I don't understand what's happening. And it's not due to fraps, because I've recorded with fraps a lot before. I've done a lot of recordings before this, I just started placing them on YouTube. I'm just getting the worst teams of my life right now. That moment where we have $300 a month internet. I live in the US, so we have really high priced internet. Uh, we have the best package Verizon offers. No, no, we don't have Verizon. We have a one gigabit charter that we had to get installed. It's like you actually have to call them and have them come in and install it at your house. And my parents did that because they own their own business. So right now I'm over at their house and they have one gigabit charter. And guess what? Charter fucking sucks dick, I would tell you. Like my 70 meg Verizon Quantum at my house is better than the one gigabit charter line that they have at my parents' house. Because my mom runs her own business, so she honestly she does need a charter. Uh, I mean, a one gigabit line. But charter sucks dick. Oh my god, it's bad. It's not one gigabit at all. I am getting trashed. I am trash right now. I think it's because I'm talking to you guys. I'm sorry. Well, I can't wait to post that 15 and 0. Oh my god, that kid was bad. Like, I feel really bad about it. Uh, ping, please stop. Let me get a clear hit. My one thing is I don't like to be shut out. If I can get one goal, I'm happy. Because I'm not all about winning. This game is a fun game to play. I can't even nail it in. Fuck a dick. I'm sorry, guys. You know, for all you guys who are commenting on my videos, like, I have two comments, but I only have one view that span the entire video. So if you're going to comment, watch the entire video, please. The entire video is 
like 90% of it counts as the entire video in my opinion. If you're gonna comment, do that shit. I mean, don't just come in, see Rocket League giveaway, and then think, oh, I'm gonna comment, so I'm gonna get a copy of Rocket League. No, no, that's not how it works. That ping, though! Holy fuck. Did I just blow him the fuck up? that bad of internet though I mean the internet here isn't that bad but still it's actually supposed to be really good it has high data transfer but I mean I guess that only happens in multiple peer-to-peer that -peer. was gonna go in <laughs> zero out of zero rank points Ooh, new wheels Wait a minute. anyway guys I'm sorry I lost tomorrow. I'll put up two more videos. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Hello, guys. Lethal here. As I promised you, two games for this episode. And I like, I'm a person who likes to keep my promises. I'm not gonna lie. I'm also a person who loses controllers. And I lost mine. Just found it, you guys. So, I'm doing my first Rocket League, my first Rocket League video with two games since my first video. So, I guess there's only been two episodes. This isn't bad. I mean, it isn't the best. Ugh, let me shut my door. I'm trying to get content out to you guys as fast as possible. So, that you guys can keep up to date. No, I'm going to keep on posting videos. As long as I build a good video credit, you know, have a lot of videos, a lot of good videos, and make sure you guys know that I'm going to have them every single day, I feel like you guys will be some of my loyal followers. Now, honestly, tell me in the comments, should I start doing Minecraft? Because I've honestly thought about starting to do Minecraft again, but no time at all. So, if I'm gonna do Minecraft, part of my Rocket League video is gonna be down. I'm sorry if the audio is fucked up. I didn't test it before I started recording. I really hope it's not fucked up. I really, really do hope it's not fucked up. If it is, I apologize. I'll fix it. Next episode, I didn't test before recording this game. This game was actually recorded separately. Um, so, I apologize. I didn't have time to record them both together. I had to leave right after that other, that last game. Oh! Oh, come on. That was a save. That was one of the best saves I've ever seen in this game, actually. And the fact that I got it was actually really nice and amazing. And a very good gift from this nice person. There we go. 2 0, 2 0, 2 0. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up, man. I love this game so much. If any of you guys have it, make sure to tell me. Um, Yeah, just make sure to tell me. Maybe put your Steam user in the description and I might contact you to play with you. Because most of my friends don't like being in videos. Because they already have their own channels, etc. I'm mainly a video editor, so a lot of my fr so I've done video editing for some of the, for some very prominent YouTubers actually, and none of them really want to 
help start up if that makes sense like if it doesn't help them get more viewers there's no point in doing a collab and right now I have zero viewers so it doesn't help them in any way so there's no point in doing collab with them they'd rather do it with other people who actually have a large amount of viewers so uh, if any of you guys have it I'll straight up play with you just leave your scene name in the description and I'll add you probably. See if we can schedule a good time. Um, but anyway, I have a story to tell you. Okay, so this is a story about whenever I was in high school. And whenever I was in high school, right now I'm 6'5". Whenever I was in high school, in junior year, I was 6'3". Okay. So I'm playing football. And one day we're on the football bus. Me and the O line are all sitting together. Because that's how we do as fat people. Well, I was I was fat then because of O line fan. Uh, but me and the, all the fat people were sitting together. So we dared this one kid to try and touch his semi out of the window of the football bus as we come home from the game on Friday. Well, he reaches his body outside of that window. I mean, he is halfway out of this window. And I want to say he's 230. 240? 5'10", 240. So, I was 6'3", 240. That should give you something from that deal. He gets stuck in a fucking window. <laughs> he gets stuck in the window trying to touch his semi. His hands up against the semi. He's stuck in the window. He's trying to pull him out. We're trying to pull him out, but we don't want to hurt him. And that's what we're afraid of. Ah, dude, he's good. So we're afraid of hurting him, so we yell at the coach to stop the bus. Coach stops the bus. So now we're on the side of a highway with a kid halfway in the window, halfway out of the window. And the coach just trying to figure out what happened. Like, everybody was like, his stupid ass tried to touch the semi. We're sorry. And the coach is just like, are you kidding me? And we had a coach, our coach actually played for the Atlanta Falcons, our O-line coach. He played O-line for the Atlanta Falcons. So, I mean, he's a pretty tough dude, pretty stern person, just in general. But he just looks at us. Because he knew we had something to do with it. Because we dared him. We bet him to fucking do it. Well, we peer pressured him to do it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not proud of it. But we peer pressured him to do it. So. Because of said thing, we have this punishment called rolling. Where you log roll your ass up and down the field. We roll, because this nigga, I'm sorry, I'm not racist, I'm just bad vocabulary sometimes, I say bad words. Um, this guy gets stuck in the fucking window, we're rolling 900 yards, give or take, so we rolled, no, it was 1800 yards, yeah, we rolled 1800 yards down the field and back nine times, so that's 100 times 2 times 18. I mean, 100 times 2 times 9. Anyway. We get done with, like, the first couple. I want to say we were on, like, 4 or 5. And this kid named Winmeyer fucking vomits everywhere over the field. Like, and whenever I say everywhere, I don't mean just, like, oh, he vomited and that was it. He vomited, rolled over it. Oh, please don't do this to me right now. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. Please no. We're going to stay right here until it's finished. Anyway, he rolled over it and just kept on rolling. Vomit all up and down his clothes. Up and down. Up and down. Oh, it was disgusting. There was a line of vomit from the 
40 yard line all the way to the end zone. And then the coach had him stop after he finished. Uh, <laughs> my connection timed out. But yeah, we're going to call that a game because it was 7-1. to one.